This is your family's first and most important line of defense against Mother Nature. When she strikes, make sure you call the people that I trust, my family and friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Welcome to the Exterior Home Solutions Extra Innings, Tennessee is Omaha bound for the third time in four seasons, the seventh time in program history, a decisive game three here in the Knoxville Super Regional. Man, it was over from the, I guess, from the third inning. Uh, Tennessee wins over Evansville 12-1. to What a season for Evansville. What a performance. Uh, number four overall seed, the first one to, uh, number four seed, the, the ninth one to advance on to Super Regional play in NCAA history. Um, you know, came within a game of Omaha. Just an, a bunch of old dudes that just don't quit and hit and, and found ways on the mound to make it work. And I mean, I'm you know, if you're a Tennessee fan, you're glad that Evanville, Evansville is not on the schedule anymore because they're a really, really good team. So um, a really worthy opponent and a, a heck of a season there for Wes Carroll and, and his bunch. But, you know, back to Tennessee, I mean, it was, you know, over from the get-go. Three solo home runs in the first inning on Saturday. It was three solo home runs in the third inning for Tennessee. And then, of course, uh, the first five of the day, I think, were solo home runs. Then you had a two-run home run from Billy Amick, and then you had the uh, the record breaker, the seventh home run. It was a three-run shot from Cal Stark. Uh, becomes a postseason record, single-season record for seven home runs in a game for Tennessee, um, breaking the the time Tennessee did that against LSU, where they had six on June 13th in 2021. So a little history in this one as well, but you had the big second, third inning. You had a, a big-time fifth inning. And Tennessee was off to the races. Um, you know, two home runs there from Dalton Bargo. The last time he homered was a two-home run day in Game Two at Auburn. That was a part of a four-home run week or, or fourth home run in four games. And of course, he's been in and out of the lineup, but got the start here for designated hitter uh, in the decisive Game Three. And boy, was that the right move for Tony Vitello. He was phenomenal. Christian Moore had a pair of home runs again, seven over, seven home runs overall for uh, Tennessee in this game. And and Xander Seacrest was phenomenal, a career-high six innings and a third. He tied a career-high for 102 pitches. He had six strikeouts, I believe one walk. Um, he was good, and you can make the case, certainly. You can make the argument that Xander Seacrest has been Tennessee's best pitcher uh, here the last month of the regular season. Tennessee has a lot of confidence when Xander's on the mound right now, and um, as they should because the story has uh, been really, really fun to follow. The crowd here tonight was the best it's ever been that you know i've been covering games uh, i talked to a number of players afterwards i'm going to have some quotes i'm going to write a story about it comparing it to a game at neyland stadium so if you were here at lindsey nelson stadium it was not a record-setting crowd not attendance wise it was loud the chance i mean hats off to you uh, what an environment this was for those guys to play in here tonight um my biggest takeaway outside of tennessee going to omaha was the crowd and the atmosphere here tonight i thought it was truly phenomenal so home runs are the story xander secrets is the story the crowd is the story, and uh, hey, this place is going to look a little bit different um, this time, uh, the next time you're in here for the 2025 baseball season. So, Tennessee season continues. It is on to Omaha for the third time in four years, the first time since uh, last year in 2023, and the seventh time overall. And uh, we'll have full coverage out there in Omaha right here at VolQuest.com for the Exterior Home Solutions Extra Innings. Been local and trusted since 1999. I am Eric Kane. Thanks so much for being here.